here, thank you for your support in our efforts to lead the nation in doing what is best for children. You and Lieutenant Governor Polito have been strong advocates to bring increased services to our local communities and schools. Thank you. These funds will increase our ability to deal with school security and to address our growing concerns with the social and emotional development of our children. The return on this investment is priceless. So again, welcome to Burlington. Thank you very much, Governor Tanaka. Spend some time working it. And in this particular case, it was Secretary Bennett, Secretary Pfizer, and Secretary Sutters, who respectively represented the public safety, education, and health and service community. The Lieutenant Governor and I tasked with uh, the assignment of coming up with a comprehensive approach to dealing with school safety in light of many of the terrible tragedies that have taken place uh, around this country. We've done a lot here in the Commonwealth uh, in response to major events that have occurred, and we've taken uh, action steps, which is really important. But I think today is an opportunity where we can be thinking about prevention and being more proactive, and coming up with ideas and solutions uh, to fill the gaps where we think they are. Uh, the governor often says to all of us, we find things that are working, keep doing more of that. So I think the opportunity through this legislation is to keep doing more of the things that are working. There have been a lot of investments made in trying to create single entrance, secure entry points uh, within our public schools. You see a lot of issues that take place. And that can be acting out behavior, and sometimes it can be suicidal uh, ideation or attempts. So whether you're in an affluent community or whether you're in an urban environment with many of the challenges that urban education faces, we have uh, issues that we are confronting for children virtually every day. In law enforcement, in general, that you know, Mary and I talk about you know identifying, trying to identify students of concern, trying to mitigate the risk, we to reduce the risk, and hopefully try to eliminate the risk. I think the key with with anything is communication to get to get those. Um, problem, possible problem students, or in some cases problem parents, get the info coming in to the proper authorities so, so um, we can hopefully prevent a tragedy from happening.